It goes right between your faces, inches from certain death for both of you. You both look at it from opposite sides and on each side of the flat part of the blade, you see the number six. Oh, left one six. Okay, you set the left wheel to six. Yeah. You hear a distant groaning, like some sort of crazy creature starts stirring in the distance. <laughs> oh my God, it's Guru Harold. <laughs> Uh, in the reflection of the sword, Mark happened to notice that in the center of the room, there suddenly seems to be a large, round oak table. On a very ornate red tablecloth, there are two goblets of wine. Mm. The closest goblet to both of you is gold with emeralds and sapphires and all manner of fancy gems and valuable looking stones set into it. Fit for a king, fit for the king of kings. Further okay. away from you, on the other side of the table, sits a goblet carved apparently from bone or maybe wood or something. And on the table is a scroll which floats up into the air in front of you. And an echoey voice reads the words that are scrawled across it aloud. The wine must all be drunk, but both competitors must survive if you hope to escape. The scroll rolls itself up and falls back to the table in a clunk and a clatter. Huh. Okay. So I've seen Indiana Jones and I know Mark, you should take the first sip with the elaborate goblet. I'll take the first sip with the plain one, but okay. then we'll have to switch back and forth. Well, okay, wait, no matter what, I can't drink. It'll kill me one sip. So no matter what, I can't drink anything. You know, that sounds like my problem, but it's really an us problem. And it's a chance I'm willing to take. <laughs> I will take the intricate goblet and I'll drink from it first. The ticking sound summons the scroll back to life. It hovers above the table, unrolls, and more words are scrawled across it. One of these cups contains enough poison to kill one of you, and the other does not contain any poison at all. But all wine must be drunk if you hope to escape. I'm going to take the plain looking goblet, scoop some wine, and drink it. Wait, scoop. What scoop? They both are full of wine. They're both you, full of are wine. You dumb. Can you not read the scroll? I thought we were dipping in and drinking. I thought it was like a bowl of wine we'd like dip our cup in. Where did that come in? Indiana Jones. That wasn't in Indiana Jones either, was it? <laughs> no, maybe it was Harry Potter. <laughs> no, yeah, it's you think of Harry Potter when he has to drink the the water out of the basin with the Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. As you both horrendously misquote and misremember movies, you notice laying on the floor next to the table is a large wooden pitcher, almost like it had been knocked off accidentally. Oh, well, let's ignore that. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that picture for? Now, that couldn't be important. I wouldn't, <laughs> mention that. I wouldn't mention that if it was important. Yeah, let's uh, let's not talk about that one. It, well, okay. Wait, the obvious answer is we both drink half of each, and then we're good. All right. All right. Is that what we're doing? I drink half of the ornate one, half of the plain one. Wade drinks the half of oh, Well, I wait till see what happens to him, then I'll drink. As Wade waits and watches, Mark starts to feel terribly ill. He Ugh. turns kind of a grayish color. Bye. He feels like he might throw up, and his stomach is burning like he swallowed a hot coal. Mark ultimately turns out to be fine. I drink the rest of the wine. Same thing happens to you, but you're bigger, so less. The scroll comes to life and screams at you. You are supposed to dump it all in the pitcher and mix it together and then just each drink half of that, you dummies. It's the same thing. You solved my riddle, but you did it wrong. And I don't like it. It was the same thing. I want to hold up the fart smell to the scroll of paper. Yeah, do that. yeah. <laughs> the scroll, the, despite not having a sense of smell, gets a whiff of the heavy fart vial, takes five HP of damage, and as the apparent enchantment is wearing off and the scroll is fainting death, and as he dies, he cries out, three! <laughs> Serves you right, asshole, and I'll go put three in the second number. Wade dances around in victory. <laughs> and as he's dancing around like an absolute fool, he spins and notices on a far wall in the distance oh. a faint glint of something. Apparently hung up on the wall. Do you want to explore the glint in the distance? Mark, there's something on that wall over there. You see that? You should go look at it. All right. Mark walks across the room, the mist parting in front of you. You get closer and you see that it's actually a mirror hung on the wall. Armless. Just a mirror. Okay. What do you do, Wade? Do you want to go see it? Yeah, I'm gonna go look in the mirror. All right, as Wade walks up to the mirror, a ghostly face appears in the mirror, looks you both up and down, and then says out loud in a ghastly voice, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the softest one here? 
softest. I hold the fart bottle up to the mirror. <laughs> the mirror is made of glass. It's immune to smells. The mirror looks at you. Come on. What are you? Come on. Touch each other. I've got it. I got. I go around the back of the mirror. I look in the back. There's, there's nothing on the back of the mirror. Mirrors are only reflective on one side. Ah, shit. Wait, I thought I thought that was it. I really thought that was it. What do you want to know? What's softness? Who's softer? Mouth, shoulders, cheek, chubby cheek. Yes. Oh. oh okay. Yes. Mm, yeah, like that. Oh, like that. You're gonna have to compare though. Oh, he's got more beard. You got more beard, Wade. Maybe that's it. Gray hairs are really scraggly, though. Are they really that soft? That's true. I have relatively firm cheeks. Do you have squishy cheeks, or are your cheeks pretty firm? Oh, uh, I don't know. They look soft. Uh, Mark is softer cheeks. Okay, for some reason, that's all I wanted. Okay. A hand, a ghostly hand, swings out from behind the mirror and slaps Mark's supple cheek. Ow! Instead of a handprint, the number four appears as a bruise on Mark's face. All right, six, three, four. We got them. They're in. The four clicks into place on the door. You hear in the distance what is clearly sounds from a Markiplier video, and it's just Mark going, You close? You close? <laughs> huh? You close? I don't know what that was, Wade. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know, but I think in the mirror, I saw an image of you pointing at something and looking really excited about it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you're right. Mark is somehow inexplicably pointing at a ship in a bottle that's sitting on a table. Oh. I'm not going to say it. Next to what you see in the ship of the bottle on the table is another bottle. You realize without any random character or plot device having to tell you that what you really ought to do We got to put the ship in the other bottle. Get the ship into the other bottle. We got to sh ship in the other bottle. But will it be the same ship? Oh shit. Oh does, my god. Do, does our brain say the ship has to look like a ship or can it just be that ship in tiny little pieces? Yeah, could it be mashed into pieces? I don't know, maybe. Are there any tools on the table with which to work with? There's a small cocktail umbrella on the table, uh, and there's a couple shot glasses and some salt. And on the ground next to it, you see a bottle of tequila. Must have been a party. You pour some tequila, all right? I dig a shot of tequila. I'll take one for Mark. Wade takes two shots of tequila. He feels a little buzzed. Okay, cool. I'm already drunk, and I think this would be really funny. So I take the bottle with the ship in it, and I smash it across my head to break it open. Everything around you explodes and is engulfed in flames. You both die. Wade! As you float in limbo, uh, your collective consciousness sees a window pop up in front of you that says, would you like to load your last save? Yes or no? Yes. Mark clicks yes. A uh, lot of rewinding noises. <laughs> You're both standing in front of the table with the bottle on it. The ship is in there and the bottle is sitting next to you. The other bottle that you need to get the ship into. I hadn't drank the tequila yet. I'm going to re-drink the tequila. Wade takes two more shots of tequila. Somehow he was still drunk from before. So now he's starting to have trouble standing up. Okay. I whip the dog out and I ask it what to do. The dog points back and forth, making a hilariously amused face like he knows the answer is clearly right in front of you. Can we reload? And you only get to load your last save if you die, okay? <laughs> all right, well, the answer is obvious, Wade. Are you not at all curious why you can't break or lift or move the other bottle? I am, but I this world is weird. I was just kind of like, you got to go with the floats. Well, maybe you should ask some questions or something. I don't know. I'm curious why this buzz is already wearing off. Oh, we can ask the weird ghost. Hey, what do we do? <laughs> hey, why can't I lift this? It seems obvious to me. How big is the bottle that we're trying to put the ship into the bottle that you want to put the ship into is about the size of a minivan the oh. opening is several oh. feet across oh. it's an enormous bottle oh i open the fart smell and i toss it in there <laughs> and then i tell mark to go put the little <laughs> bottle in there the, the giant bottle the bottom third of it is filled with a cloud of very toxic and damaging fart smell i i look at wade and i just i hold his face like this you know and i go like why do you hate me why do you want me to suffer? I will do this, obviously, because I want to move on, but you... Because the tequila is gone. You did that. You it's realized. easy to point fingers now, but I'm rationalizing myself to be the good guy here, so just put the other bottle in there and we'll be done. If I go in there, I'm going to die, 
and then you reload, and I dive headfirst into the bottle, and I, I just swim around in the park. <laughs> oh, God! Oh. <laughs> Mark slithers into the bottle, and as he sinks into the bottom, you hear that Minecraft damage tick sound as he takes continuous hit points of damage. While that's happening, I take the ship bottle, and I smash it again. Everything is engulfed in flame and explodes around you. <laughs> You're both in limbo again, and somehow Mark smells like farts. Oh, 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 God. The dialogue pops up. Would you like to load your last save? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're standing in front of the table with the bottle with the ship in it sitting on the table. The other bottle is sitting next to you. Do I still smell like fart? Mark smells like farts forever now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there still tequila? Yeah, there's a little bit of tequila left. Okay, I take the ship in the bottle and I put it in the big bottle while it's still in the little bottle. The bottle disappears from in front of you. In the place where the large bottle was sitting on the ground, you've got the tequila. There's an enormous zero etched into the floor. I, I go over to Wade, I tap him on the shoulder and I point at the zero and I'm like, that's you. Wade takes six more points of ego damage. That was a good one. And then I go put the zero in the fourth wheel. Wade, think about it this way. Whenever I do a game like this, I, if there's two numbers left, we can brute force it. If only there was some kind of clue that's audible the whole time. Of course. Six? Was it six ticks? Seven! S seven! <laughs> that's one of the unused numbers, I agree. Seven! Mark screams like a madman as he seven! locks seven into the fifth number spot. The door says, yes. Okay and looks at you expectantly. You still stand there. Nothing else becomes evident, but the ticking sound seems to have stopped coming from the void. I think this is where we brute force it. I put a one in and I say, this is for you, buddy. As Wade clicks the one into place, the door gives out the most sensual moan you've ever heard. Ah! 